Come on, my turn. I have to finish this, Auntie Ying. We open next week. Next week is next week. I have to find a wife for my son now. Why? He's too busy at work, so I'm helping him. Yeah. What's going on here? It was her idea. Mommy, there's someone here to see you. You left these at the cafe. I did. I mean, you left these at the cafe. Oh, I'll take care of this. Eddie, don't you have something to do? Something? Don't you have homework to do? No. Oh, homework, sorry. So, did everything go all right at the doctor's office? Everyone was worried. Everyone? Well, I was worried. So, will you come for lunch tomorrow? Oh, uh, no, not tomorrow. I have to go for lab tests. Well, how about dinner then? I have great news. I found a girl for my son. Oh, you mean the girl from the internet? Yes. She's just what I was looking for. She's pretty. She's smart. She teaches English to immigrants. She likes opera. <laughs> She's perfect. <laughs> Your lab test results show your glucose level is high and the concentration of... C could you please slow down? I'm nervous and, and when I'm nervous, I have trouble understanding English. Last time I was here, I, I didn't understand anything you said. Okay, Mrs. Dominguez. Do you know what diabetes is? Diabetes? Diabetes, voila. Oh, the sugar disease. So that means I have to eat less sugar, right? Yes, but that's not all. You have to get exercise every day and take your medication every day. And you must change your diet. What you eat, and what you cook. What I cook? But I am about to open a cafe. Well, you have to cook with less sodium. Less salt. My recipes. Your blood pressure. My rice and beans. Smaller portions. My famous cakes, all my Dominican recipes. Make your recipes low fat. It's good for your heart. What will I do? How can I open my new cafe? Why are you so concerned? The doctor told me that it's not that serious. But mommy, there's so much to learn about diabetes. You have to exercise 30 minutes every day. Mommy, 
Maybe you should try some low-fat milk with your avena. And you have to watch what you eat, Boela. Every day. Every day? And you have to take your medication every day. You have to take care of yourself. <sighs> Diet, exercise, pills. I have a cafe to open. You look so handsome, Fernando. I've never seen you in a suit before. And you always look lovely. Come here. I want to show you something. The new stove is here. You can start cooking. Rosa. What is it? I can't cook anymore. All my recipes are bad. <laughs> but Rosa, your recipes are delicious. Everybody loves your food. I love your food. Fernando, I have something to tell you. I went back to the doctor today. I have diabetes. I can't eat the way I used to. I can't cook the way I used to. Fernando, I can't open this cafe. And if I can't cook my Dominican dishes, I'm not me. This is the end of all my dreams. Rosa, that's not true. You work so hard to open this cafe. I have to change everything. I can't do it. You packed up your whole life in the Dominican Republic to come to New York. If you made that change, you can change your recipe. Still Dominican. <laughs> 